We begin tonight with our top story. It is a case that has stumped investigators for more than three years. A mother and her two children missing from Wheatfield since 2019. But tonight they've been found alive in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again. I'm Scott Levin. Investigators say that they found the family yesterday after searching for them for more than three years. To on your sides, Kelly Dudzik joins us with more about the case and what happens next. Kelly. Scott and Mary Alice, this started in family court and now Katie Ryford is facing up to four years in prison. Olivia Ryford, Dyer Bakerly and Mason Ryford are now 11 and four years old. These are computer generated photos of what they would look like now. They were reported missing in February 2019 when their mom didn't show up for court. Their dad last saw them in 2018 and has full custody. Yesterday, after more than three years, investigators found Katie Ryford and the children living in New Mexico. The Niagara County Sheriff says Ryford was using a different name and enrolled the kids in school, but had them using different last names. She's facing charges of custodial interference in the first degree and a violation of a family court order. The sheriff thinks Ryford decided to skip court when things weren't going her way in family court and thinks her family was helping her. Olivia and Mason are now with Ch Children and Family Services in New Mexico. They will be reunited with their dad. I asked one of the investigators what it was like to let their dad know that they were safe. I was able to contact Peter last night um, and when I did break that news to him, it was a very emotional phone call. The initial call and then a second call continued to be emotional throughout. I think he was very excited to hear the news. The kids are expected to go to Massachusetts to live with their dad. Ryford is being extradited back to Niagara County and the sheriff thinks that she will be released when she gets back here because of bail reform. In the Information Center, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.